Good morning. So I discovered this really cool parallax effect that you can achieve just using the block editor. Um, and this is it here. So can you see how we've got uh, an initial screen, full screen picture, and we've got a blurry image behind it. And the question up here is click here if you want to listen to the best guitar sound in the world. And you click on that little link and then it will smooth scroll your user down. And can you see how the image is now completely clear and this is where we've got the information about the product but what's really cute about this effect is we're using the same image essentially apart from this one's blurred but can you see how the images completely line up with each other this is the cool bit um, so you've got this really nice effect of this fixed parallax background so it's really simple to do so I discovered this effect and then I thought well how can you actually use this on your own sites and I came up the, with the idea of transitions so anywhere where you're trying to uh, illustrate a transition on your site and this might be you're taking your customers your services you take your customers through a business transition or you might be a life coach let's say and you take a client through a personal transition I think anywhere where you've got a transition where you've got improvement happening you can use this effect it's very very simple to set up let me just show you again you click on the link and it's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did it. it. Only takes 10 minutes. We're just using the block editor and one little free plugin that lets us do this lovely auto smooth scroll effect on down the page. So here we go. This is how you achieve it. Right, here we go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to create two, that's four, two images, two images, uh, one sharply focused and one blurred like we've got here and I've discovered this really cool site called befunky.com which is free uh, where you can just upload your image and you can apply a blur like this so you can choose the blur effect you want and then you can download it uh, they've got lots of other cool effects on here as well actually so it's worth checking out so that's the first step create your we want two I'm doing four again you want two separate images um, one blurry one non blurry and obviously you can do other things with this as well so we're doing blurry today but you you know this this is your site use your imagination of the, the things you can do next step we're going to create our page so this is what we want to end up with this is the page I've previously built and this is what I'm going to show you how I did so I'm going to start by just creating a new page and here we go and I'm going to call this parallax just so I can remember it I can never spell parallax but I can now okay so we're going to use the cover block um, to create this page. This is your key block that we want to, to use to create. So all we're going to do is click on the plus sign up here and then we're going to search for cover. So the cover block is a core block with WordPress. If you're using the block editor, you'll have it. It's a really cool block. It's not the best name for it if we're honest, but there we go. Add it to your page. Okay, and it's going to ask you whether you want to choose a background image or a color. Uh, so we're going to choose a black a background image it, you could upload your new ones that's how you do it I already have mine in my media library so I'm going to add them from my media library here and remember the first one is your blurry image and there's my blurry version and I've called it blurred guitar so I know it's the blurry one and I'm just going to select that and that will set that as the background of my parallax section and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to write our words here so I'm just going to copy and paste these for speed at the moment okay and I've got that bit of word text here and then I've got this bit of text here as well and with the cover block you can add more blocks into it if you want to so let's say I want a paragraph block I can drag that across or if you want to have a button in here you could add a button block but that's that's fine that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to align that center uh, now the next things I need to do can you see how this is much much bigger so I click on the block itself and over here I can set the custom size like so and this one looks a little bit big so I'm going to reduce that as well okay now the other thing I've done here is can you see how this is this orange color and this is a common question I get asked how do you change the color of independent sorry independent yeah, individual words so you highlight the word you want to change the, the color of click on that little downward arrow and can you see we've got this text color option here that just lets you change the color of um, specific words okay so there we go. I think we're kind of close to where we want to get to. Oh, the other thing we did here on the cover block, um, you can actually set the position of where this text goes, like so. Uh, it won't always preview properly, depending on theme support, but it will once you publish it. So I'm just setting this to be at the top. 
Right, we need to do a couple of other things here. Um, the first is we need to make this the fixed pack, um, the fixed parallax background. This is the key bit, must do this. And that's gonna fix the image to the back of the page. So when somebody scrolls up, that image will basically be fixed to the back of the page. And that's that option there. Can you see how it's now fixed? And the next thing we need to do here is we need to set this cover block to be full width. When you're, when you're seeing these settings for the cover block, if you don't see the settings, it means you haven't actually selected the cover block. It might sound obvious, but the, the way to select the cover block is just to make sure, if you click on these three lines at the top here, just make sure you've got the actual cover block um, selected because then you'll have the option here to select that as full width. And can you see how it's now stretched to the full width of the page? Now, the next thing we want to do we're just gonna set the minimum, minimum height, and I'm gonna set that to be 1500 pixels. Now you, you can play with this again. Um, that's just make it gonna make it big and it's gonna fit the full um, width of my page. Let's just publish this to see where we, we're at. Okay. So that's my um, parallax. There's a couple of other settings I need to do which are theme settings essentially. So you might need to tweak these in your theme. I'm using the storefront theme for this demo and with the storefront theme, you have the option over here. The default template will restrict your full width um, cover block. So I just need to set that to be full width. And that means when I actually go and view this now, you see how it's now stretched all the way across. The other thing I can do um, with storefront is, and this is again, this is using an additional plugin, so I wouldn't worry too much about this bit, is I can hide the header and the title. Okay, um, just here, I'm gonna hide the header. This is just because I'm essentially creating a, a landing page for my for my site here. Okay, there we go. So that's the first one done. Then the second one, uh, for speed, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select the first one I'm going, and I'm going to duplicate it here. So just duplicate it. That gives us our second one. Okay, and then we just need to tweak this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is replace the image with a clear image, which I've got in my media library already. Okay, which is that one. So you see how the image is now clear and you can preview it so you can see how it's lining up perfectly already. Uh, what else have we got here? And then down here, we've just got basically a headline. Let's see if we can just copy and paste this for speed again. We've just got some text essentially. So I'm gonna remove all this text and I'll remove that one as well. And I'm just gonna copy and paste. If I did copy and paste it, there we go. I'm gonna copy and paste that text in. I'm gonna change the color of the title like so. And obviously you can play around with the positioning of that as well, but we're, we're, kind, of, uh, we're kind of where we want to be. Uh, I might want to put a spacer block above it, potentially. So the spacer block is useful for adding an extra space into your pages. Just creates white space, like so. It's a really, really useful block if you want to position your text, you know, a bit more accurately on that cover block. So there we go. Let's just update that and go and look at the page and see how we're we're heading in the right direction. Looking good, and you see how we've got that lovely transition working. And the final step, really, on this page. Well, there's two more steps, but the, this, the first one is to link basically this text here um, with this section down here. So we're creating these anchor links or jump links within the page. So this is pretty straightforward to set up. The first step to do this is you need to create your anchor for where you want that link to go, which is gonna be my title. That's where I want it to scroll down to. So you just highlight or click into the block that you want to link to and then go over here on the right and click on advanced and you pop in your HTML anchor. So this can be anything, this is just for you, but make it, you're gonna need to remember this because this is what you're gonna use to link to. So you just pop your word in there and then up here, this is where you actually add your link. So let me just remove this so you can see what you do. Um, in fact, let me do it like this, let's do it properly. Okay, so you remove that, so you're gonna highlight the text you want to link, you click on the little link icon here and then you put hash and then you put the name of your anchor link and it has to be identical otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. 
And we should now, when we click on this, have this cool smooth scrolling link down the page. How cool is that? And you see there's my first image, which is blurry, second image, which is clear. So, and obviously you could add more and more sections to this page if you wanted to, you, you know, use your imagination. Uh, the possibilities are endless. To do the smooth scrolling bit, I'm actually using a free plugin that we've built, um, which is this one here, if I go to plugins. And you can download this for free from the WordPress directory. Let's make this bigger for you. It's this one here. So it's easy, smooth scroll links. It's a free plugin. And what it does, it just lets you, when you click on those, those anchor links, it creates a nice, a nice smooth scroll between the sections. And you've got lots of uh, um, settings in here that you can play with as well. So there, there we go. That's how you can create a really cool, beautiful, transitional um, page on your site just using the block editor, um, the cover block, which is a cool block. And I think it's a really um, cool effect. So let me know what you think. Did you, uh, do you find that useful? Can you think of other ways that you're going to use that on your own site? So that'd be great to hear that because I've come up, I've come up with a transitional idea. If you like this video, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up because it helps just spread the word. And if you want to see more videos around the block editor, um, hit the su subscribe button because I'm producing lots and lots more videos these days, um, focusing on the block editor and pushing the limits of it. So thanks very much and I shall see you all soon.